Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is season 4 episode 10 of City Signings now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it 40 likes would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 5,000 subscribers and we're trying to hit that before the end of the football season it will be a massive task if you guys could subscribe and help me get on the road to that it would be massively massively appreciated if you haven't already checked out yesterday's video it's my reaction to us signing Will Huffer make sure you go check that out I'm recording this video just after that video has actually gone live and as you can I'm sure you'll be able to tell this looks a lot different to my usual setup I've got a new webcam for my streaming it's a Logitech 9C920 or something like that so it's a really really good one and I've got like my stream overlay border around the edge and all that sort of stuff so it looks a little bit better let me know down in the comments below do you prefer like the webcam video or do you want to still see the videos when I'm recording them on my phone whilst my camera is broken I don't really know what I'm going to do about that because you know money doesn't grow on trees and I can't just go out and buy a new one you know I'm not the side when we don't have that sort of money here on the SHD YouTube channel so let me know down in the comments below you know what do you guys want to see the webcam or the uh, the phone make sure to let me know all that sort of stuff down in the comments below but today we are going to be talking about the fact Jordan Stevens has joined the Bantams on loan from Legion Knights until the end of the season he was originally at Swindon Town but today he has joined well not today a couple days ago actually he has joined us and he was actually meant to play against Scunthorpe before that game got postponed and some big news also come out of Bradford City tonight as I record this this is coming out the day after I'm recording this so Ben Rich 7 has officially left the club by mutual consent my full reaction to that video uh, full reaction to that will be out on Wednesday so make sure you tune in for that because I'll have quite a lot to say about that but yeah enough about waffle as I like to waffle for two minutes in my intros these days make sure you leave a like subscribe and let's get on with today's video so at 9am on January the 8th Bradford City tweeted saying breaking news we are delighted to announce the signing of Jordan Stevens on loan from at LUFC obviously Leeds United we've had quite a couple of players come over recently from Leeds United obviously you know Hosanna came at the start of the season Paldi came a year before that on a permanent then we signed Will Huffer who'd previously been at Leeds and now we've got Jordan Stevens so we seem to love the Leeds Academy and all that sort of stuff but yeah Jordan Stevens signed we was heavily linked with him you know Simon Parker tweeted about him and all that sort of stuff and then I believe Sellers said we probably weren't going to bring him in before the weekend and then we ended up bringing him in on Friday you know I'm sure that would probably just try and mess with Scunthorpe and all that sort of stuff but you know it ended up meaning nothing as well we didn't end up playing that game but the article from Bradford City's side then reads City complete Stevens loan catcher no interesting headlines today Bradford City is delighted to announce the signing of Jordan Stevens on loan from Leeds United. The 20-year-old arrives at the Utility Energy Stadium from City's Premier League neighbours on a deal until the end of the 2020-21 campaign. Having started his career at Forest Green Rovers, Stevens first moved to West Yorkshire in February 2018 and has so far made six senior appearances for the Whites. The Gloucestershire-born winger spent the first half of the season on loan at Skybet League One side Swindon Town appearing on 16 occasions and only netting once. It doesn't say only, but yeah, he only netted once. Stevens said I am delighted to be here it is a very big club and I'm looking forward to meeting up with the rest of the lads he didn't actually say that what he said was it is a very big club from what I've been told so he's quite clearly not done his research so how can you be delighted to be here if you've not done any research because you're basing your opinions on the club off of what you're being told anyway moving on I've played in this division before and I've picked up a fair bit of experience at Swindon Town this season so I'm excited for the challenge as soon as I knew Bradford City were interested I made it known that I wanted to come here hopefully I can kick on and get some more games under my belt the Bantams inter interim manager Matt Truman added Jordan is someone we have been mon monitoring closely for a while now and we are delighted to have got uh, his signing completed Leeds United have been great in agreeing to recall him from Swindon and a Allowing him to join us at this level we are confident he will bring a lot to our squad he's a very talented player with with raw pace and a natural direct edge to his play and we are looking forward to seeing him in action Stevens will wear the number 12 shirt which is usually the backup keeper uh, and obviously he's available to sponsor and all that sort of stuff now it's a winger we needed a winger definitely uh, we've not really got many of them you know we've got Motley Henry Pritchard Billy Clark sometimes plays out on the right we just don't have that many wingers so to have an actual winger is very very good but I believe uh, Swindon manager I think it's John Sheridan obviously he didn't sign him it was Richie Wellens that signed him but he left after a couple of games to go to Salford so yeah uh, they had a new manager I don't know if I'm making this up but I believe I saw something on Twitter that like he seems like he's got a big contract at Leeds and he's too big for his boots all this sort of stuff Swindon fans don't rate him at all which is very very disappointing but it's another winger a winger with raw pace you know we might as well have kept Dylan Connolly but let's see what Stevens has to offer we will now read the Leeds United article because they also tweeted out saying you know uh, LUFC winger Jordan Stevens has joined League Two side Bradford City on loan until the end of the season and all the Leeds fans commented you know saying Bradford City just want to be um, Leeds United but anyway the article then reads Jordan Stevens joins Bradford City on loan obviously with it being 
the club that are loaning the player out. The article is obviously not as long. But yeah, it says winger makes temporary switch. Leeds United winger Jordan Stevens has today joined Skybet League 2 side Bradford City on loan until the end of the season. The 20 year old spent the first half of the campaign on loan at Swindon Town, where he made 16 appearances and scored one goal for the Robins. Stevens will return to West Yorkshire and link up with fellow Bantam, fellow, sorry, fellow Whites defender Bryce Osana, who is also on loan with the Bantams. We wish Jordan good luck during his time at the Utility Energy Stadium. So it's nice to have another w winger in through the door and all that sort of stuff. You know, we definitely needed a winger. I expect us to go in for one more as well because we, now we've only got Stevens and Pritchard who are out and out wingers. We're not counting Motley Henley as a professional footballer. Absolutely not. I expect him to also leave during the January window, probably by mutual consent, like the same with Ben Richards Evan. I don't want to see Billy Clark played out on the wing. It's like then it's going to be a big debate though between who do you play in the number 10 role? Do you play Callum Cook? Do you pay, play Billy Clark? Let's see what Jordan Stevens can do. I wish him all the best. Welcome to the club, Jordan. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this sign? It's another player from Leeds United. I believe you are allowed up to four players on loan from one club during a season. Um, or maybe it's at one time. I'm not really too sure, but I don't think we'll be going in for many more. I have seen that we are linked with, I believe his name is Ryan Edmondson, the striker from, obviously, Leeds United. He was on loan at Aberdeen at the first half of uh, this season. You know, he made a, quite a good statement there, to be honest with you, but then he got injured and he's not really been able to find, you know, some goal-scoring form. But for the, according to some of their fans, you know, he's, one of, he's probably their best striker, but he just can't seem to find the back of the net, which is not really what we need. But we do need another striker and he provides something a bit different. Austin Samuels, I don't think it's good enough. Guthrie was okay when he came on against Grimsby, but he always seems to be injured or ill or something like that. Donaldson, as much as I love him, as you can tell by this, what I got for Christmas. Oh, this camera's inverted. That's a bit um, interesting. But yeah, Donaldson is getting on a bit. You know, I don't expect him to renew his contract at the end of the season. But anyway, that is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on it. Four likes, as I said at the start of the video, would be massively appreciated. Make sure you subscribe if you are new as well. I am trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the si football season. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, all the Leeds fans, because if I put that Leeds badge in the thumbnail, it's for some reason seems to get loads of clicks. So yeah, welcome to the club, Jordan. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the signing, and also, do you want to see me do videos in future from my webcam or on my phone? Which one do you think is better quality? For me personally, I think the webcam is better quality, apart from like the shadows in the background. But I'll be working on all that sort of stuff. But if I put like my main light on, it goes like this, loads of black lines go over the webcam, and it's, it's just really disappointing. Not like actual, but it's like flickering. It looks terrible. So I'd rather have a bit of shadow rather than the actual quality looking a bit stupid and make me having to like pamper with it all and all that sort of stuff the video looks like it's not filling up the whole screen because i've got the overlay on there's like bits of black around the edges which i apologize about that but there's nothing i really can do i'm waffling a little bit thank you so much for the support recently make sure you follow me on twitch link is down in the description below like and subscribe and i'll see you all guys in the next one peace <laughs> Let's get it.